had a sneak peek at the smart fix command when we were exploring the quick fix mode a few chapters ago. Here in the full edit mode, the command works in exactly the same way and is designed for ease of use rather than complex controlling adjustments. I really don't expect anyone to spend much time with this option because it doesn't give us much control over the photograph, however it is an incredibly quick way to make an impact and will deliver good to excellent results most of the time. Another reason you may use SmartFix is if you want to see which way Elements is going with it. Sometimes when you're completing your own edits it's hard to spot exactly what the problem is. You just know there's something not right. If you turn to this command you can quickly and easily get ideas as to how to fix the photograph before heading out to the more complex commands such as levels which we'll be looking at in the very next chapter. I already have an image open on screen called Beach House which is a photograph that I took in Tobago of a house right by the Caribbean Sea overlooking the boats in the bay. There's nothing majorly wrong with the photograph on first glance but here's where SmartFix can help us open our eyes. Unfortunately it's one of those commands that does not come in the form of an adjustment layer so we're going to have to add the flat color adjustment in way of the adjustments menu. So come up to the enhance menu first and foremost and then come down and select adjust smart fix. That will open up a dialog box with minimal fuss and options. In fact as far as the command goes we'll get just two. The first one is the auto button so if this slider is too much hassle for us then we can just click the button which I'll do right now and the command will suggest the level of fixing that is required. So if we go ahead and toggle the preview we can now see that already we've made a nice edit to the image. The original looks a little washed out in comparison and looks a little low on contrast while the amended version looks more colourful and photographically accurate. However we're not done yet Remember the auto button is merely a suggestion, we can still take this slider and take things down a few notches if we think the command has gone too far or up a few notches if we think it hasn't gone far enough. Just for demonstrational purposes I'm going to take the value up to the maximum and we end up getting roughly the same contrast levels with a bit more saturation added and perhaps a bit of a tweak on the levels as well looking at it. Ultimately it's going to look good though, so I'll click OK to accept that and add the change permanently to the photograph. Now we can just toggle between a before and after shot using the undo and redo buttons and we really can see just how much of a difference a command like SmartFix makes to a fairly good looking photograph and more interestingly enough just how easy it was to make the change. Now before we call it a day, as I said earlier, this command mostly gets things right and that's true, however it isn't invincible and sometimes things can go horribly wrong. I'm going to click the organize button at the top to flip back to the organizer and then I'm going to go hunting for an image called Dark Sunset, another photograph taken in Tobago. However this time things aren't going to be so easy for the command. Click on the image to activate it and then we'll use the keyboard shortcut to open it up inside of the full edit mode, Control i here on the PC or Command i on the Mac. Now come up to the enhance menu once again and click the adjust smart fix command. Go ahead and click auto and elements is going to do its best to neutralize the scene. The first thing we'll notice is that we've lost that magical sunlit orange glow that really defined the sunset and the image has turned a bit blue. If we turn up the strength of the fix by whacking the slider up all the way we can see where things are going wrong. We've managed to end up with a very cool blue image which is the complete opposite to the orangey one that we started out with. If we were to go back to the colour wheel we would see that in fact orange and blue are the complete opposites. So even though the orange cast was a natural feature of the photograph the command has identified it as a problem and to counteract the cast it's added blue to try and neutralise the orange and find a happy medium between both of them. 
Unfortunately, its efforts are in vain and we end up destroying the photo rather than fixing it. So there we have it. Just a quick example at the end there of the times when the command can get things wrong. So don't always think it's going to come up trumps. However, as we saw in the first example, it is a very good tool to have in your Photoshop bag of tricks when it works, which it does probably 90% of the time.